This is Roy Candy from Epic Gaming Night, and this is my top 100 games. We're all the way up into my top 20 games, and I'm so excited to share with you my very favorite games. There's lots of amazing games coming out every single year, and I'm super excited to show you things that are super important and exciting in my gaming collection, so let's get to the list. My number 20 is Star Trek Ascendancy. This is 4X in the Star Trek universe where you can be the Federation, the Klingons, or the Romulans, and you can try to expand your empire and go over and take out other civilization. You're always doing all sorts of different encounters on the different planets you find that are different things that happen in different episodes of Star Trek. And it's always exciting to see what's going to come up. There's lots of randomness in this game, but it's a lot of fun to try to build up your civilization and try to overtake your opponents and get ascendancy first. So I've had a ton of fun playing Star Trek Ascendancy and that's why it's my number 20. My number 19 is a game of backstabbing and betrayal and that is Game of Thrones. I love the George R.R. Martin Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones universe. I love watching the shows and the books are awesome and it's awesome to have a game that you can play in this universe but it's also very cutthroat and you're Everybody's placing out their orders and trying to be like, yeah, man, I'm going to support over here and defend over here and I'm going to attack this way. But then everybody flips them up and it could not quite be like what you're saying. You have to build some sort of alliances to get anywhere in this game, but you can only have one winner. So you're going to have to betray each other eventually. And it's very interesting because you're trying to go around taking over the different strongholds and being able to get enough to win the game. There's the randomness of when the wildlings come out trying to figure out how much you should bid to try to like fight them off and then also there's the bidding for the three different um, tracks that are going to do turn order and breaking ties and being able to give you little different special abilities. There's lots of exciting things to love in Game of Thrones and I love this style of dudes on a map like area control trying to take over things games so that's why my number 19 is Game of Thrones. My number 18 is another Space 4X game but this one adds in a bunch of resource management too, and that is Eclipse. I love Eclipse, how you're trying to manage your economy and get all your different things, but one of the main things I love about this game is how you can upgrade your ships in all sorts of different ways. Do I put missiles on? Do I put the animator cannons? How can I get those technologies so I can upgrade my ships better? I wanna expand and explore, and it's awesome to see the board like build out as you're playing the game. I love this genre of game, so, Eclipse is another great one in that line, so it's cool to have all the different alien races with tons of different powers, and there's tons of exciting things about Eclipse, and that is why it's my number 18. My number 17 is the Arkham Horror LCG. This is the highest card game on my list. I love games where you're deck building and stuff, but this game has so much theme and story. This took the Lord of the Rings LCG and added where you're moving around locations and added a whole lot more theme into it, and the cooperation is intense in this game. I love playing this game, and I feel like the more and more that comes out for this game in the Lovecraft theme and telling all the different stories, the higher it's gonna get on my list. So that's why my number 17 is the Arkham Har LCG, a great Lovecraftian card game. My number 16 is a crazy game of battling wizards, and that is Wiz War. Wiz War is a great game where you're just trying to collect treasures or knock out other wizards. It's very random with all the different things that are happening, and it's got a lot of take that and like trying to mess up each other, but it's fun to try to build up the little combos of the different cards and spells and how you play them, and like play a spell and run around a corner and zap your opponent and turn into a wolf and run over here. There's tons and tons of cards in this game and cool little miniatures where you're running around the board, so I definitely Definitely enjoy Wiz War, and that's why it's my number 16. My number 15 is Galaxy Trucker. This is a game where you're trying to build ships in real time, trying to fit the pieces on there, and you need guns and engines and different cargo bays to put all your different parts. It's a blast building your ship and trying to build the best you can. I'm a huge fan of real time, and this is my favorite real time game of all, as you're trying to figure out how to put all these pieces together. I love building the ship, but then it's also interesting to see how things play out and how well your ship can do as you go along. There's definitely like a learning curve for this game trying to figure out how to build this stuff really fast and I feel like I do quite well with that so it's a lot of fun to see ships explode and blow up and see what you encounter but it's also awesome to like try to build the best you can and see how far you can go so that's why my number 15 is Galaxy Trucker a crazy real-time space game 
I played a ton of board games growing up and through my teenage years, but if there's a game that converted me from all the other tabletop games into strictly board gaming, it is my number 14, and that is Battlestar Galactica. This is a game that I went into, I had never seen Battlestar Galactica at all, but I love the concept of this game of it being cooperative, but then there's a traitor, and you're on a ship trying to survive and jump away from the Cylon fleets, and it's always tricky trying to figure out who's a Cylon, are they a Cylon? It's she a Cylon? Is he a Cylon? And it's always got this tension in this game as you're like trying to go further and further and further and there's, I love the bidding mechanism in this where like you're trying to pass these different things and everybody's like saying, oh yeah, I can put in this, you put in that and all this stuff and you can sneak and lie about different things. This board game showed me what modern board games can do and that was the point when I was like, I want to be a part of board gaming and like get more into it. So I played tons of board games before this, but Battlestar Galactica, my number 14, is the game that got me into the board gaming hobby. If you can't tell already, I love a lot of different Lovecraft games, but my number 13 is a redoing of the Arkham Horror game and makes it worldwide, and that is Eldridge Horror. I love how all the different like great old ones in this, like the, the mysteries you have to solve, make it feel more like you're facing and battling that great old one. I love how you're like going all over the globe, collecting different items, trying to like use your thing to get different things, to try to upgrade and work together as a team to be able to work things out. I've had a ton of fun playing this game with all sorts of different people and there's tons of expansions that make all sorts of different ways you never have to play the game the same way twice so one of my favorite Lovecraft games of all time is Eldridge Horror. My number 12 is Cosmic Encounter. This is a great game of negotiation with alien races. You're trying to take over other people's planets and but you have to, you can't really do it alone. You have to like talk with other players, be like, you want to ally on my side so we can attack and we can get this planet. Or maybe when people are attacking you, you try to get people to help you defend so that other people aren't winning the game and running away from you. I love playing this game and I love the negotiation in it. There's tons and tons of different alien races. And it's always fun to see like how all the different powers interact. Some powers are super overpowered, but the alliances and the different things like that mitigate that as players work together to make the rules of this game like work out. I love that there's all sorts of like cosmic zaps and tons of card play. A lot of the stuff that I find fun in Wiz War is also fun in this as well. So I love all that crazy things you can build up like little combos with different cards you get. Be like I play this and now I zap that and do this thing and now I get that planet over there and I win the game and there's tons of exciting things in Cosmic Encounter. So that's why it's my number 12. I love thematic games, so that's why I have so many games with strong IPs and themes in my list. And my number 11 is the highest rated Star Wars game on my list, and that is Star Wars Rebellion. I love how asymmetrical this game is, where the, the rebels are trying to like hide their base and build up their defenses and go on like secret missions to like try to take out things to get different points and make the game in sooner. And then the Empire is just trying to build a massive fleet and spread over the whole galaxy to find the the rebel base and destroy it. It's super exciting and super tense and there's lots of like different things you can do. I love games where you like get to build units and put them out on the board wherever you want. Like that's a thing that's really exciting for me and Star Wars Rebellion feels like the Star Wars universe that like I love the whole ship combat and espionage and all sorts of exciting things. So now we need a Rogue One expansion for this but my number 11 is Star Wars Rebellion. So we've made it through another 10. We only have 10 games left. I called my podcast and like my handle on everything Epic Gaming Night because I love epic games. Games that give you huge narrative and storyline and give you that like epic feel. I love games on like a grand scale that can take a long time to play and I'm super excited to show you the rest of my top 100 and hopefully you'll join me for my top 10 next time on my top 100. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.